Hello everyone, my name is Diamondite, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Slender the Arrival. This is the first day of the 31 days of Spooktober that I want to do. I know it's the third day when I'm recording this, so we're going to be doing Slender the Arrival a day, 6 of Tim Tim, and Blood Pow Blood Wash? I was going to say Power Wash. Blood Wash, I think it's called. Um, but there'll be three separate videos. I'm sorry that I didn't get to this sooner on the 1st of October. I uh, had some problems with um, my pet hamster. Sadly, passed away recently. Or well, just yesterday. So that's why I didn't record. But uh, I'm just going to get straight into this game because I don't want to make it too long. Okay, so it has been some time I've played this game. Um, I played it on the Xbox One. I remember seeing it on the Xbox 360 as a kid a lot. I played the mobile game, like the original. Also, this is the original Send of the Arrival, not the remaster, because... I don't know, I just couldn't buy it at this time. Well, maybe in the future we'll do Son of the Arrival remake, because I would like—I would love to see how they've improved on this game. Yeah, I remember you have to go to the house. Also, I want to quickly say as well, while we're walking to the house, we're not going to be finishing all of these games fully for the 31 days of Halloween. We'll just do like the majority of them and how much we can do. Being me and my partner. Since we've got like some big games coming up like Visage and whatnot and it will be like a 10 hour long video. If we were to do so. Honouring the life of Beth Hayes, October 18th, 2009, 9am, Great Hill Cemetery, 615 Everston Street, Pastor John Taylor. I am added to your scrapbook, reviewed, the store has been locked. I remember getting stuck on this. Back in the day. I don't know how well this game's gonna hold up as scary, because like obviously it is the original. Which came out in 2016, I believe. I could be wrong about that. Like I remember when I first played this game and I was like absolutely like terrified, like I could not go anywhere in this house. I think I might have been like 13, 14 when I first played it, so like six, seven years ago. Picked up a key. Also, I may not even get past um, the actual slender part, because, you know. Is that drawn tablet? No. There's one part in particular that I am looking forward to seeing in the remake, which, if we get to that part, um, I'll mention it. Say, stop now, escape, what is it, stop it now. 
stars in the woods, can you see it? Okay, yeah, if I remember correctly, that's reference, and then you go outside. Okay, so I did get jump scared. I think I'll be so much more tense when I play the original, when I play the remake. I've actually got goosebumps, I'm not gonna lie, thinking about the remake. Also, yeah, I forgot about this poster. I forgot what it does. Just keep an eye out. Missing, have you seen this child? Charlie Matheson Jr. I swear if you stare at his portrait for long enough, wait, his picture, it actually... Keeps, but well, it sends you to a different reality. I remember as a kid, Slender being like the most terrifying thing to me. Like I had to get my uncle at the time to like play through the game because I was too scared on the mobile. It still holds up to be one of my favourite like creepypasta villains. Even though some people like say he's real. I know like it's kinda of like the Russian sleep experiment. Pitch up proof. But turns out it's not real. Or maybe he is, who knows? I mean, I do believe in cryptids, I've obviously got my Mothman statue, Mothman's my favourite, um, favourite cryptid, I do believe in him, but who knows, who knows. Ah, yeah, there he is. I'll always remember that. Him omin ominously standing there. Pretty sure back in the day I tried to run. Okay, that's good. Pretty sure I tried to run out of when I first seen him. There is a very specific part that I hated in this when I first played it as well. I know I keep referencing like, oh, when I played it back then in this. It's like, oh, there's not much I can really talk about on this. Oh, do I want to go in the house? I don't want to. Uh, fuck. I. I've got goosebumps again. I'm pretty sure that's the kids, now that I think about it. I am debating whether to go near him, because I know what happens. And... Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> Still gets us.
I remember getting stuck on this part in the original. Okay, so maybe it does hold up. Maybe I don't quite remember what's going to happen. Yeah, back at the construction site, there's not much, if I remember correctly. Because I remember running around there, like, for at least an hour on my first playthrough. Find me all right. He came for me, why didn't I listen? He was right, he said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me, don't let him, him in. <laughs> Area mountaineers will often use their bright flashlight as turn to scare off invasive animals such as raccoons. Progress saved in the selection menu. I'm pretty sure this is where it begins. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this is where like classic slender gameplay. Let's freak moves. Oh yeah, it starts now. As a kid, there was, well, as an adult as well, there was something I always wanted to do, like, um, actually draw, like, all these Slenderman pictures and put them around the woods on Halloween and actually dress up as Slenderman when I was, like, skinnier. Now I'm just uh, a fat man. <laughs> also, I never understood what looking at him actually does. Let's just one say, don't look or it takes you. Okay, so it takes you then. But I never understood what looking at him actually like does to your body as a kid again a reference in, to my kid so uh, wet nope I'm not looking um, follows yeah as a kid I always wondered like does he make your head explode and that's why he does like the static never quite learned, you know, his origin. No, no, no. I'll actually remember, I've actually drawn some of these um, slender pictures in a notebook. Um, if I can find the pictures, I'll put them on now. I like I'm just so calm about this, like just running through the forest, like talking about childhood, always watches no eyes. I'm pretty sure that's what I drew. One of them. This is the one part I always hated as a kid. Leave me alone. I don't know how many pages are in here. I've also never been one to actually look into the Slenderman lore, so... You know... Maybe that'll be something um, I'll look into this Halloween. I mean, I've only recently learned about like Jeff the Killer and the Russian Sleep Experiment fully, because um, a podcast I listen to called Creepcast 
I'm sure a lot of people know what it is. Um, Hunter and Wendy, well, Meat Canyon and Wendy Goon, also known as Papa Meat and Wendy Bloom. Um, they talk about them, so. I'm pretty sure they have done a video on um, Slenderman. I haven't watched it yet. So, maybe I will. Try not to get talk. Oh. Let me get it, get it, let me get it, let me get it. Okay. It's mine. Like many mountain towns, Oakside has a maintained a long history of disappearing. You know, I was really hoping that, um, and I'm sorry to admit this, this is like really bad to admit. But I was hoping I wouldn't actually get this far in this video. I thought like maybe I'll take like 20 minutes to find the notes and then I can be like, alright, that's the video done. But nope, I've got to go in the mines. Oh, how I love the mines. Oh. I hate the mines. I don't like the mines. I never understood who was actually in here, but it reminds me of a certain someone from a creepy pasta. Okay, so same picture. I that's what I always associate this guy with when I've seen him. And let me tell you, I absolutely hate it. I hate this guy. All employees must be removed from the mines via emergency lift as soon as possible. To power lift, please activate the emergency generators throughout the ground level. Six generators at the minimum are required to power the lift at full capacity. Please see your supervisor if you need help locating them. Fuck. I don't want to. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so that's a dead end. Oh god. Right, I just want to say, I have, I played this game a few years ago. Obviously, I played it for the first time, and I played it like four or three years ago bef before I'm recording this now. As a kid playing it, I hated this part. 
as a 16, 17 year old playing this part, I didn't mind it, but I didn't have headphones on, but now that I'm back... Let me tell you, I don't want to do it. Also, I don't remember if there's any noise cue. Oh, I'll just end the video here, please. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm so scared. Now give me the highest sensitivity, please. Actually, that's a bit too high. Give me, like, high. Hold R2 to focus your flashlight. Okay, so it knows it's nearby. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, where? <laughs> if anyone was wondering who I thought it was, um, well, I guess, guess. I don't know why I keep going. <laughs> I'm sucking in like I'm in pain. It reminded me of Jeff Killer. Which terrified me as a kid. I'm not gonna stick around. <laughs> I wish my car would move a bit faster. It's actually back there. Ah, 
I don't know which way to go. Also, the music is very misleading. Why of all people did he have to show up? I mean, I've already got this guy chasing us. I have had a problem, like, I don't know where the regenerator would be. thing I want to mention about Jeff the Killer though is actually listening to his story on Creepcast because okay let's blind him one thing I want to mention because I haven't said anything in a while because I am tense about this actually learning about his like story and what he is I'm getting to the story slender has actually took down like the fear factor of him like maybe Yeah, I don't know, just like listening to like what he actually is and just, oh thank god it's there. Learning what Jeff the Killer is and how he became what he was. Nope, 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 where are you, where are you going? Yeah, learning, sorry, learning what he is and how he became what he was and just the story. Like the writing alone was just... It's bad. Like... Like Hunter and Wendigoon said, it feels like it's written by like a 13 year old and um... Well the image, this image right here, still scares us to this day. Well, it used to anyway. 
Like, it's, it's almost like a terrifying image. During some of the hotter and driest, Pogs officials were locked on a fire ban. Yeah, I don't know, that image, like, terrified me as a kid. I think if I heard the story about how it like, just sits in your bedroom and watches you sleep, I think that would have, like, got me more. One of the more recent um, monster or creepypastas is scary. So if it is a creepypasta, I'm not sure it is um, Smile Dog. Just because, like, I love dogs, I really do, but dogs with, like, dogs can be terrifying. Like, if you look at, like, the Skinwalker videos, um, obviously dog with teeth, and then there's a, a thing called Dog Nightmares. Made by Piggy Soda, I'll put that channel up right now. Um, I think it's, like, a sort of, like, analog horror, but not really. It's just, like, a horror, horror series that's still going. But that dog... Hello there. I don't know why I did that. So this is the kids. I, I do remember playing this, but I do not remember like the story. I don't know if like this Thunder the Arrival actually like fits the storyline well of what Thunder is, how he like apparently takes kids. But like, what if, um, because I don't remember this story, I don't know if it tells you or not, but I'm presuming that the Charlie that I've seen in the house, if it was him, is like a figment of my imagination because he disappeared. Oh, maybe actually I think he ran away from this. But then Charlie grew up to be like a, a slender man successor, kind of like, um, Okay, if they're talking, I want to... Oh, can't put it. Right, if he turned into, like, a Slenderman successor, kind of like, um... I know this is very horrible to reference, and... Um... I'm pretty sure the girl survived, which I'm glad about. Because um, I, I heard me Canyon talk about it. Well, Papa me, sorry. Being the two girls that stabbed their friend to death. Well, near death. Um, so I wonder if, like, that guy that was chasing me is, like, one of Slenderman's successors. And that he believes in Slenderman. Or if it is Charlie growing up and now he's, like... Oh shit. So he got taken by Slender Man, I'm guessing. Oh, I've just realized the guy's like, well, the woman or whatever. I think it's a woman. It's like that. Um. Yeah, one of the only creepy pastas I've read. I know this video is kind of weird. I'm just realizing that now, like, talking about like these gameplay and whatnot. But I think it's a nice little conversation, you know, to have with you, the viewers, and whatnot. Um, 
One of the only creepy pastas I read was Laughing Jack and a Pokemon one. I'm not entirely sure what what it's called. I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it was called, but all I remember is um Oh. Can you say it? I guess we'll put... Okay, I've been doing some digging and came across an old plot of land that plugged the Matheson's family away back. Charles was known to take his wife Diane and his son Charlie at the old homestead for family picnics. I never imagined what I would see there. I think Charlie may have seen something. Something he was never meant to. So he enclosed as a recording of my recordings and some documents I came across who didn't sound dark yet, okay, it's something I can't explain. Yeah, it was about like... Oh. Hmm. The date is September 19th. My name is CR, on site of the Matheson family farm. Continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. I don't remember this. Before I get like way tired of myself and I forget what I was talking about, um, basically they put a, a Pidgeot, I think it's called, the. I, I, maybe I'll put up a picture of what Pokemon it is, but they put that into a bag without realising and they end up beating it with like sticks and then it dies or something. And I also read another Pokemon one which I just remembered about um, this Pokemon and about like the rice doll thing, I don't know. What it's called, but like you put rice into a doll, then it comes to life. But yeah, I don't remember this. This one not helpful that I don't have a flashlight. Charlie. So, Slenderman commanded a bunch of kids to burn down the barn? Is that what it's referring to? Okay, so clearly there's an upstairs. Maybe there's something in the boot of the car to get a flashlight. I just think it's a bit weird not having a flashlight when I can't see anything. Okay, you can't access the boot. Um, there's nothing in there. You don't have a flashlight. You've made that very clear. And for once again, he does not have a flashlight. Okay, if I had a guess. Oh. Rose, we're going in at the start tonight for another game of hide and seek. Father won't return from his errand to Red Deer until the morning, and Mom says he found a lantern so he can take us to the after dark. If we want all, might be the trouble after tonight. Dinner's no, you know, hit the engine smell, the rancid smell of petrol down. Yeah, but it'd be fun, I promise. Maggie, P.S. Don't tell Pi, she'll tell on us. I know I didn't read that properly, because I couldn't understand the writing. Someone that's a seller. Okay, let me. As much as I don't want to do this. There we go. That makes it a lot easier. Hmm.
Okay, I couldn't find anything, like, on a walkthrough on what to do for this part. But I think I've just realised what I need to do. Damn. Okay. Okay, so I've come up 45 minutes. So hopefully this won't take, like, an hour, but we'll see. Reminder, all wheat and barley should be stored in a subterranean cell of the cloud storage. Cold storage, sorry. Okay. We can be stored up to nine months pending moisture. Dry grain should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the grain insects. Ensures insects remain dormant and minimizes mold growth. Generators out of fuel. I've just had like a visualization in my head, but I remember like one of the pictures of Sunderman I seen as a kid being um and I don't know how true this is if we can actually do it, but like the mask like opened up like that and you could see like a massive like row of teeth. But um you know god knows if that is real. Well I say a massive row of teeth, it was like Like his teeth were basically it was showing teeth. That's like the best I can say. Okay, this reminds me. Ooh, don't remember you. This is gonna be like a weeping angel situation. Randy Richards, it's a big book of stories. Volume 1, it can be with a later time in the main menu. Okay. I don't know what you are. Australian and um, British. Yeah, because just typical. It's like I'm here. Don't don't end the video yet, please. No. Okay. How many? 53 minutes. 53 minutes, not bad. Okay. Still chasing us. What's that going to be like the insect?
dun 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 I love that tune that I've found on YouTube for that 31 days of Halloween. Which was thankfully copyright free. Oh shit. Once again, do not remember any of this. So that's just the entire Matheson family, or Matheson, however you say their name. What's really weird is like, I played this back in the day, I don't remember if I finished it. Probably didn't because, um, I think I got scared of Jeff the Killer and just like turned the game off immediately and uninstalled it. Um, or I didn't get past the eight pages, but I just don't remember this. so weird. Like, usually my memory's good when it comes to games, like... I thought something was running at me there, that was terrifying. It would be a nice little like fond memory when I get the remake of Son of the to play that and see. I can like watch this video back through and then I can see how well it holds up. Or maybe I'll like... Okay, to sum that note up, um, one of the Mathesons in the family summoned Slenderman. And because of that, they just decided to burn the house down, burn the barn, burn everything. What a Matheson. I just really want to play the remake now. I just want to see how much it's like improved from all of this. Okay, I don't know if the kid's coming for me at high speed, but... But it's more or less the same as it always been. Maybe tomorrow, Maggie... Father is marking us, pray get me out, do not go, it's bothersome of anything that 
And I'd bet anything Patty and Walt ran away from this miserable old place and don't blame them one bit, but Grandmother and Rose insist on some... I don't, I can't read that. I thought it was going to say, like, open the door with the barricade on. I didn't read what that said. I was stupid. Nope, you're not going to my house. So Slender came for her, and that's where the window was smashed. I'm learning, I'm learning Slender the Arrival law. I didn't have, like I said, I didn't play this back in the day. Well, I did, but I didn't like, I didn't really pay attention because back then I just didn't care for, um, the house needs to go, I can't save it anymore. I can't save it anymore. Um, I never paid attention because I didn't really care about um, storylines. I only started caring about story when I was like 16. Because I was like, I could be getting so much more out of these games if I just stop and listen. the street in an hour. I'll have to list of things to bring if you leave everything else behind. I'll explain everything as soon as I see you. I know how to fix all of this. Don't tell Lauren about me. See ya. Your helping is a rival in this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. This isn't your fault. I did this. By the time you read this, it's already too late for you. Don't let him in any more lives. This was all my fault. This can end with you. I let him in. Why did I ever let him in? I'm sorry for placing this burden on you. Wish it was all on me. This can't spread any further. Please, it all has to end with you. I wish there was some other way. It has to end. God forgive me. Whew. I wonder if there's a sequel to Send of the Arrival or they just like decide to remake it. Because like this is... Okay, this I remember this. Okay, Maybe this is like 
um, supposed to be a one and done game, like referring to one of like one of the biggest creep pastors of all time. I mean, after all, they made a movie about this guy. Which I haven't seen, and I refuse to watch, because... Was he, like, stretched up there? I refuse to watch the movie, because... Okay, no, that's just his tentacles. Yeah, I refuse to watch the movie, because... I don't know how well it captures its likeness of what Slenderman is. And it's usually movies these days that try and make something that everyone loves turns out bad if it's not their own creation. Like um, Borderlands, Resident Evil movies, which went on for way too long. Well, that's just like personal judgment. I think this game does very well at like capturing um Slender for what he is. I mean it's one of the most iconic creepy pastas like um I'm sure everyone has heard of Slender Man. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where I'm going. Let me look into this. Oh, okay, so we're heading for the radio tower.
I see a door. Emergency public warning system is a protocol whereby local authorities can warn the public about amending, impending or current emergency affecting the area. The EPOS can be activated by local police, fire, environment agencies and local authorities. As required, it can be activated for the following reasons. Severe weather, flood, wildfire, hazardous material, terrorist threat, water contamination, amber threat, other threats. I don't know, sped read that, but it's just basic. Like, you know, it's basic um, stuff about um, wildlife and what you should do. Yoink. Another thing I never understood, like, how does Sodomon teleport? I failed you. I still think that's Charlie. Oh. I do remember this. I don't remember how to get out. But, um... This guy keeps stopping by my house. Think, talking about my son. I keep telling him to go away. He's getting worse and more desperate. He's getting more and more desperate. I still see him, I keep looking for him, it can't be him, though I know it can't be, but it's so real. Everywhere I go, he has a voice, but it sounds like he's suffering, like it's not the son I knew. I can't escape this torment, this man, this thing. He taunts me, he eats up my mind. Am I doing this to myself? Was it my fault? Charlie disappeared. Is this my trail? Trial? Or my punishment? I need to end it, I need to cleanse this place. No more suffering, no one deserves this. All ends here, it all needs to go. I'm not gonna touch you. Okay, this is pretty exciting, isn't it? The whole mystery, the missing boy, the sightings, the arson. I'm glad I get to share this adventure with you. I can't help but feel saddened for Mrs. Matheson. He lost so much. Mr. Matheson, sorry. I wish you could have just left me in to help him. The way you helped me, maybe I could have saved him. Since I couldn't help him in life, maybe I can help him now. I promise to find out what happened to his son. Perhaps it'll put his soul at peace. Thanks again, Kate. Kate. I look forward to our adventures. I do remember. Okay, I was gonna say I do need to get that off here. What do you mean? She is one of Slender's successors, I'm guessing. So Slender Man took her, and then maybe she possessed her, she possessed her, or she, um, 
see, I took up the mantle. It'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll keep these people away or something. I don't know. I don't know much about them. Whew. And that's it. That was the horror has only begun. Hardcore difficulty is locked, and a new available, a new level is available. Genesis. Never heard of Genesis. Oh, I get it. It's it's the original. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I always wondered how to get this level. I don't know what I've done differently this playthrough. But yeah, this is the original Slenderman. This is what I played on the mobile. Is that him over there? Oh my god. I know I'm not the only one that played this as well. Obviously it was like... A lot of YouTubers played it back in the day, like um, PewDiePie, um, Smosh, which oh god, I haven't fought Smosh in like years, and that's about that's all I know. But maybe Markiplier, is, actually, yeah, Markiplier as well. I'm probably Jack's the guy. That that is so cool. I never knew they had the original on here, but. I'm going to say that's all for this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I, again, I, I'm sorry about the whole not being able to upload on the first day or the second day. Hopefully I can get all three videos out a day. And then we can start afresh on day four and then go upwards from there. But um, we'll see what happens. If I can it... I should definitely have it done by day four, like maybe two videos on day four and today. After this, we're going to be doing Circus of Tim Tim and then Blood Wash. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I keep saying M, M, M. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe, as always. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.